We had a lot of great matches in the lower divisions, featuring some new fan favorites and some strong up-and-comers. Remember some of the names you see here in my top 10 matches of the lower divisions at the Haru Basho. Oyamada's unusual Kimarite, the Omata, kicks us off at number 10. Going up high is Oyamada, who gets a good grip on the side, loses it though. Now back to the middle, Abisumaru trying to resist. Oyamada trying to do a lot with that right hand, gripping the forearm, pushing forward. Look at the definition in his back muscles. Holy crap! Look at that push and the throw! From the leg! He grabbed the inner thigh and pulled him up to toss him to the side. What a move from Oyamada! Nabatame goes flying back and forth across the ring for this win at number 9. Nabatame attacking up high, great Supati, but he sidestepped, nearly stumbled, catches himself, now he's on the back foot, pushing forward again, lightning fast speed all the way across the ring, and I think he got slapped down at the edge, I don't know what the call is, but that was a hell of a match. Little man Suzaki gets blasted, but survives at number 8. Suzaki getting blasted, but whoa, survives at the edge, turns around and attacks Anojo from the side. What a way to save himself. And number seven, Mitoryu stumbles and crushes Wakataka Kage. Wakataka gets a good charge, but Mitoryu just stands still and takes it. Now Mitoryu's walking forward. Mi oh, Wakataka tried to go on a pull attack, but it's not working. Mitoryu breaks the grip on the belt, lifting him up at the edge. Wakataka Kage losing ground. Goes for a pull as Mitoryu. They're both tripping and slipping across the ring, and Mitoryu crushes him out. Wakataka Kage almost had it, lost it, and falls. Tanji nearly stumbles, but works back into the match at number 6. Tanji scoops up Kaze no Umi with a vicious charge to the throat. Tanji gets him off, steps back for a slap down, nearly stumbled and catches himself on Kaze no Umi's chest, pushes forward for the win! He actually caught his balance again by gripping Kaze no Umi's waist. Toshunryu had the advantage the whole way, but his Uchigake win is what puts this at number 5. Toshunryu with a nice charge up into Mine Aiba's chest, but Mine Aiba catches him. Big outside left, trying to stabilize, going for the throw over the leg, doesn't work for Toshunryu. Now he's back into the double inside, head down into the armpit, trying to push forward, trying to kick the leg again. Mine Aiba, great defense to avoid that leg kick. Back to the middle of the ring, Toshunryu still low, outside left, inside right, slowly pushing forward, tries to turn for another throw, but Mine Aiba is wise to it. Slowing it back down, Mine Aiba not in the best spot, but the longer this goes, the more gas that Toshunryu expends, the better it becomes for him. Another leg kick throw, and I think he got it! The crush down in the middle of the ring. I'm a sucker for spin moves and Waka no Show does not disappoint here at number 4. Waka no Show versus Shouhoryu. Shouhoryu gets smacked up. Delivers a blow to the chest. Whoa! Nearly sidestepped and ran out of the ring, but Waka no Show back to the middle after a smooth spin move. Now he's pulling back across the ring. Whips Shouhoryu to the ground. Number three is everyone's favorite white man, Shishi, showing us how he improved in this exciter. Shishi trying to scoop up, Shimano Umi trying to attack low, Shishi tries to get to the belt, tries to grab with that inside left, and he holds on with that iron grip, pulls himself in, and now he's chest to chest. Shimano Umi trying to spin him to the side, but Shishi actually using some good footwork, lost the grip on the belt, turned to the side, turns around again, gets the inside left on the belt, nice spin move in the middle of the ring to recover. Now he's pushing forward. Can he keep a grip on the belt? And he does. He's actually using the loose part of the belt to pull himself in. Tries to get the inside right as well. Gets it under the armpit. Shimano Umi losing ground at the edge. Tries to twist. Tries to pull Shishi on the attack. And he finally finishes it off. Shishi. That's, that's the best sumo I've seen from him.
In a lot of other cases, he may have just, you know, slipped and fell. Oshoma resists all the attacks from the former Sekiwake to win this match here at number two. Oshoma resists at the edge. Wakataka double inside now, trying to push forward belly to belly. Has Oshoma at the edge. Can't finish him off though. Oshoma fighting back to the middle of the ring. Wakataka on the pull into the push, attacking the throat, but it still doesn't work. Oshoma still resisting at the edge. Whips Wakataka Kage down. Big right arm throw, sending Wakataka out of the ring. This long match has a little bit of everything, from turnarounds to last stands to a Mawashi Mata, and the most action we saw all Basho long at number one. For taking the belt, inside right, outside left, but the outside left is locked in for Shimano Umi. Shimano Umi, chest to chest. I think the outside left for Osho Umi is dangling. Shimano Umi trying to get low, trying to lock in a grip around the hand, trying to use the outside left to throw around, but Osho Umi stopping it up. Squatting down into the stance, stopping all that momentum. Zooming in on those belt grips. Osho Umi losing ground, gonna give up. The Yorikiri, he goes for a throw, but he can't convert it. Lost the grip, and now Shimano Umi has double grip on the belt. It's a matter of time for Osho Umi unless he can pull something out of his pocket here. But they're just wearing belts, they don't have pockets. What could he possibly do? Shimano Umi settling back in. He attacks the leg and tries to go for a throw again. Breaks the grip of the inside right. Really smart move from Osho Umi. Controls that inside right elbow now. Ends it up trying to get a better stance. You can see him put that right leg forward. He's trying to walk it forward bit by bit. Shimano Umi doesn't want that to happen. He wants to get that grip back. Osho Umi, really smart of him to break that grip in the first place. What's the conversion? Big push for Shimano Umi. Can he survive? At the edge, he does! Back to the middle of the ring! Osho Umi survives! Both heads down in the shoulders. What's the next move? Still holding that elbow, and they're stopping the match. The belt is coming undone for Shimano Umi. And we get a chance to catch our breath, too. Holy cow. That belt coming undone. The referee needs to stop the match and fix it. If it were to come fully undone, Shimano Umi would lose via disqualification. Never seen that happen in my time watching. But the referee has fixed the belts. He will tell them to go in just a moment after he confirms the belt is properly tied. Back into the action. Osho Umi still holding that inside right elbow. Now moving forearm to forearm, trying to use that uh, left leverage. Shimano Umi back on the push to the edge and finally gets it. I was hoping for a more exciting finish, but that was a great match the entire way through. Talk about keeping your head in the game. Shonichi, the first win of the tournament for Shimano Umi. The level of sumo seems to be getting higher and higher every new tournament, and it's only a matter of time until these guys occupy the top divisions themselves. Next week, we'll be taking a look at the top 10 of the top division. And if you missed the sumo that much, be sure to tune into my Twitch stream where I am showing last year's sumo 24-7 at twitch.tv slash Sumo.